Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So let's start over here. This is per a U.S. defense official, the NOTAM, or the basically notice of a no travel zone, is for the area off of Baja, California, according to a U.S. defense official, it's for the re-entry of a Russian space launch booster. They say it's not for the launch of a military exercise. Um, so this is, uh, <laughs> you know, the update we have gotten from a U.S. defense official, as you see uh, over here, U.S. defense officials have now confirmed notice to air missions seen recently off the coast of Baja, California, will not be act will not be active between May 16th and May 26th. Is is not for any kind of live fire exercise. So it, curious because there were several of them listed, and again there were some that were listed at the same time over Finland and over Sweden. Now, if you don't know where the boosters are going to come in, it just seems that, you know, the area in the Arctic Circle between Finland and Sweden and this area off the coast of um, Baja, California, less than three, 300 miles, are very far apart. I mean, it's not, are you worried about them coming in over there too? Or is this a, just some sort of cover up, I wonder? You know, it doesn't it doesn't really make a lot of sense. I, I've never seen this come through like this. I mean, I don't think anyone's really seen this quite like this, but they did come out with this information. So that's kind of all we have for now. It's just also very, very curious, you know, along with all the the other ops they did, you know, with um, showing, showing the two, uh, Russia and... Um, Putin and and Xi, Xi, Xi Jinping with their little handbags <laughs> with their nuclear codes walking around like they're in a in a park you know it, it was just kind of odd yeah and and again this is from the FAA and this is what we originally saw and many people originally saw and had questions this is just one of the block um, as one of the blocks uh, as you see different coordinates um, given and yeah it's just it's very curious there's so many things that you know again governments tell us one thing and something else is happening but hopefully this is all this is uh here you see some serious flooding going on this is in tamil nadu this is in india reports of a missing boy uh, we have had some seriously intense and crazy storms that a lot of people have really noticed using radar signatures. If, if it seems like these storms are being amplified or boosted with technology, and what I see is I see um, you know a lot of uh, channels out there saying, "Oh no, it's it's just simply a, a twelve thousand year cycle that you are." <laughs> that you are watching and uh, the governments know about this they can't stop it they just don't want the public to panic and to me that sounds so much like a obvious movie plot that they want to seed in our minds but hey you know to each his own and and there are those that believe that is the case as you see the people leaving this area the flood zones and again all over the world uh, in southern brazil it's been brutal this is in northeast france uh 50 millimeters of rain fell just from last night you're seeing massive inundations this is over in turkey uh again it, it's all over the place you're seeing evidence of how mud floods could happen relatively quickly and if you coordinate them with um some increased technology this is into thin air showing look at how nasty that was you know through houston and through uh southern louisiana of course we understand this is why um certain channels will be promoted and others won't because the system will promote you if if you are pushing the system's ultimate narrative narrative or one of their ultimate narratives 
And when we talk about, well, you know, yes, there is the natural, but this is obviously being augmented. Well, they don't want that out. No, they don't want that out. They want it being a, just an act of God or an act of a massive cycle that comes every 12,000 years. No, these these wipeout events happen, <clears throat> I would estimate, you know, anywhere between maybe every 180 years or 300. It, it's much more often than what we would think if we just analyze the numbers. Over a million people in Houston area uh, were without power. Uh, damages from straight line winds as if a hurricane came through. Yeah, people were saying that the winds were as strong as if tornadoes uh, went through. And again, tornadoes can be fed off of these types of systems and created massive damage. I mean, it's just <laughs> incredible damage that we're seeing. Really, it's it's a lot like when we see uh, hurricanes, like the hurricane down in the Pacific coast of, of Mexico blew out so many windows. These, this is just a storm. This is just a storm. And and look at it rip the rock wall out. That's kind of bizarre. It, unbelievable, really. Uh, it's really crazy. I mean, you look at this devastation and, and it's just, it doesn't look normal. Um, I don't know how many comparisons there are <laughs> That, that the storms were this bad, but we do have a lot of family members in Texas and we want to send out our our uh, good vibes to them and their families and their livestock and, and everyone that they know and just everybody in general out there who's having a really, really hard time with these storms that are definitely not natural. Yeah, you know, so curious times uh, to say the least absolutely and people are on edge with good reason and here you see tornado at wealth wells fargo plaza downtown houston you know houston is the um i believe it's the fifth or the fourth largest city in the country it's the fourth um, after New York, L.A., Chicago, Houston, then Phoenix, um, from my memory, it is one of the most important. And if you were going to, because it's a port too, uh, if you were going to uh, attack a country or you were attacking a country uh, through weather warfare, absolutely, you know, Houston would be a prime target. Because it's very diverse, just like the state of Texas. You know, it has energy, it has banking, it has so much going on for it. It's very, very important economically. Um, four people lost their lives, and again, almost one million uh, had no power. Just incredible what we saw, and through uh, southern Louisiana as well. Louisiana, 70% of the people live in the bottom 30% of the state. Um, so the vast majority of people are right in this area that got slammed. And uh, they still have 121,000 without power over in Texas, almost 800,000 still without power, Mississippi, 11,000. So, you know, just be aware in these times, anything can happen. An eruption at Concepcion Volcano ejects some ash 18,000 feet high, blanketing nearby areas. There's been quite a bit of volcanic activity, and we do expect more will come. Uh, last time this erupted was about 12 years ago. Spain denies arms shipment entry to Israel. Spain refused entry for a ship carrying 27 tons of explosives from India to Israel. That's curious. Because India is part of uh, BRICS, it's the I in BRICS. India is absolutely a little bit of a wild card. It's really interesting to see uh, the the alignments, military and and um, economic, that are going on. And look at those in relation to the prophecies that were given about WW three time. Because some things don't um, seem to line up yet. So again, timelines are not set in stone uh, by any means. And here you have a at Russia Today citing retired Israeli Army Lieutenant Colonel Eli Dekel says the Egyptian army is preparing for war against Israel. Well, you know, a lot of people were again thinking with the meetings with Putin and Xi, it was, you know, a meeting right before it's go time on Taiwan for China. 
there's 350, 400,000 uh, U.S. and NATO troops in the in the South Pacific area, the greater area over there. So there's a lot of forces there uh, to deter that, but there's also over 500,000 Russian troops uh, waiting to go over on the border with Ukraine. And, you know, that's a lot. Ukraine can't uh, hold them off. Obviously, Ukraine's a much smaller country. And this is, this whole war over there has been drawn out purposefully. It's a lot of people that are military experts will tell you it, it shouldn't really have even lasted this long. That's because the whole purpose for it is to drain the West and, and wait for the timing when China's ready to go. And they look at the astrology and, and they do things according to the astrology because that gives them the best chance at, at a positive outcome as far as they are concerned. And ultimately, when you look to the astrology, this time period, uh, today's the 17th um, through the 19th is one that's very, very, um, has a lot of warlike energy in it. Mm-hmm. It does, you know, and it does give momentum it lends energy to situations and that's why they use it um there's there's uh so much information out there you know when you're dealing with astrology that it shows you can really use that to your to your benefit but um not just people countries too i mean they use it to their benefit as well and this was a really nice guy he's helping this puppy this poor puppy scared to death it looks like he rescued him thank goodness yeah and if you uh, follow mma you might recognize michelle Pereira. he's uh, an amazing mma fighter on his way up you know somebody um that has a tough side and you can see he's got a gentle side too and you know that's that's a wonderful thing as you know this is in brazil which has been completely devastated by the flooding. And at the same time, they're pushing a carbon tax initiative and digital currency. It's it's beyond obvious to many, but yet it, the masses are, are just in the process of waking up. So please do wake up as many as possible. Indeed. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.